It is Megan Evie Makeup. However, today I am switching roles. The ones who actually know me know that I am a mom baby nurse. But I'm going to do a quick and easy tutorial on how to get ready for work because you work long hours at a hospital. 12 hour shifts, 7 to 7, whether it's AM or PM, they both suck. You're on your feet all day and usually you end up with creasy shadow and your face falling off. Stay tuned to see how we can get this makeup to stay. Girl, she's a little too greasy. Mm. All right, let's clock in. Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna be using some expensive things, some non-expensive things, um, but you do you. I'll kind of show you what to use to make it work. So, let's start off with brows. I'm going in with L'Oreal's Unbelievable Brow in the color Light Brunette. Okay, so I'm taking a brush that is dual head. It's an angled brush on this end and a spoolie on this end. And I'm just kind of brushing out the brows because they don't really have to be perfect since they're probably gonna get ruined anyway. No, but this stuff will last like definitely through your 12 hour shift, like they ain't budging. So I'm literally just taking out the spoolie and coating my brush with it. And because you're working 12 hours and you have to be there at the ass crack of dawn, like I literally have to be there at 6.30, 6.45, excuse me. I have a hard time getting there. Um, most of the time I'm literally rolling out of bed. Um, so I ain't got time to be full on drag for the babies. So we just giving our eyebrow just a little bit of shape. We ain't going cray. And girl, go ahead, or boy, go ahead and have you a pair of tweezers handy to kind of get those little strays because we ain't got time to be covering them bad boys up because we're gonna be rolling in on two wheels so we don't get written up for being late. I'm not gonna be late anymore. It's been years of solution. Okay. Okay, so now that your brows are on, what every single nurse needs that is working on the floor, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. Girl, you, your eyelids, that, like that shadow ain't moving nowhere, no time soon. Take this and you just put it all over the eye. Slop it on there, cause we ain't got time. We ain't got no time. Now that that is on there, take your finger and you're gonna dab it out. And you're gonna use a non-dominant finger to kind of dab it out so you're not like tugging and pulling because you're tired enough as a nurse. You don't wanna add more wrinkles than what you already have. You just want eyeshadow that you can kind of grab and go, something that's gonna be easy, um, that you can get multiple uses out of, especially if you're gonna spend some money on. I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. We are going to use a blending brush and go in with the color Salted Caramel. So with our blending brush, we're looking for something that is dome shaped and tapered. And we're literally just gonna work it into our crease. Starting here and just kind of working it over. Because we want to have people think that we're excited to be at work today, that we're not exhausted, that we haven't just worked four in a row and we're just blending it out up into our brow. And it's a lighter color so you don't really have to be precise because this is quick. Mm-hmm, yes queen. You're gonna use the same brush and we're gonna go in with the color semi-sweet and just a little bit on, on the brush. And you're gonna stick mostly to the outer corner Girl, people are gonna be thinking that you're going to the prom instead of going to work. Now you're taking just a regular shadow brush just to kind of spritz it up a little bit. You're gonna go in with the color Marzipan. 
and it is just like a vanilla frosty kind of color. Babies love a good smoky crease. And I'm just kind of tapping it onto the part, onto our inner lid, and not messing up our blend because we want to keep that. So it looks like we're put together. Looks like we're put together. Because Lord knows I'm running on Prozac and Red Bull at this point. I'm going to take the same color and go a little bit underneath my eyebrow. Just add a little bit of highlight. Just to let people know we went the extra mile for them this morning. Okay, so I'm not putting eyeliner on one because um, we're running out of time. Number two, I don't know about you, but I usually get those little bitty eye boogers like right in here and they look disgusting, especially if you put like under here. So don't do eyeliner. Save yourself the trouble and the embarrassment of being like, as you're pushing on somebody's fundus, you're like, um, oh, ex excuse me, um, you have eye boogers. It's disgusting. Don't do it. I'm going in with Monsieur Pig by Lancome for eyelashes. And we are just coating our lashes to the high heavens. And we're, okay, so another thing. Don't put mascara on your bottom lashes. I mean, you totally can. But if you're like me, you run around, you get hot and sweaty. Say you're in an isolation room, you're getting hot, and you squint, you're gonna get, you're gonna get mascara down there. Then it's gonna smear, and you're gonna look like you got a black eye. So, pro tip, just don't put mascara on your bottom lash so you don't have like the dark circle dead eye by the end of your shift. Oh. This is like clumping up. Monster big, why are you doing me this way? When you're in the isolation, isolation gown with your mask on, your whole face is covered. What can you see? Your eyes. So you want to kill them with kindness with them eyes, girl. You want to look like you was fierce with them eyes. So for our face, we're going in with Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. And you can literally get this stuff at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, what have you, for like five, six bucks. And I mean, you can wear your expensive stuff to work. However, I would not. I mean, that's if that's your prerogative, if you want to spend 60 bucks on a foundation, when you can spend $6 because you're gonna be sweating it off anyway. I'm taking an It Cosmetics buffer brush and I'm just smearing that all over my face to cover up any imperfections I got. Just because patients might be sick and tired doesn't mean you have to look sick and tired. You feel me? I really do love my job. The little babies are so cute. Most important thing of being a nurse, you're going to have dark circles. You're going to be tired. You want to cover those bad boys up. You want to hide the fact that you may or may not have had an entire bottle of wine from the previous shift because sometimes it can get stressful. Just speaking for other people. I'm going in with Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Eraser of the Dark Circles. We're just going to... And then to kind of blend that color in with everything, do a little bit here, bring it down your nose. Boom. Now I'm just taking a brush from Real Techniques. I'm gonna blend that out. Dark circles, be gone. You are gonna need to set everything with a powder that you just did because that is what is, is gonna keep your foundation in place. 
the entire 12 hours plus, 12 hours plus. I'm going in with Pretty Vulgar, just the powder room, matte about it. And I'm taking a another powder brush from Real Techniques and I'm going to set it underneath my eyes first. Anytime you put on a liquid, you wanna set it with a powder. So I'm kind of really packing it on underneath my eyes. So it doesn't run. I'm gonna pack it in around my nose and on my laugh lines. Because Lord knows you're gonna be moving. So there's no need for highlight because our face is gonna be greasy enough at the end of the shift to where it's gonna be your own natural little highlight. But to contour our face, because we wanna look thin and we, we wanna look like the fact that we just didn't scarf down a four course meal in a span of 10 minutes on the toilet. Cause you haven't had a pee break all day. We're going in with Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Up here, make your forehead look smaller. Let's give ourselves some cheekbones. And then under here to get rid of our double chin. Oh girl, you looking so skinny. Good, cause I already got 17,000 steps in for the day. And I've only had a bottle of water today. Can you tell that I've lost some weight? Perfect, super. I'm going in with Laura Geller, Baked Blush and Brighten in the color Tropical Hue. It's gonna make me look nice and rosy. And I'm gonna guarantee you, your foundation and your eyes are not moving. They ain't gonna move. If you're feeling extra inspired, an extra on it that morning. If it's your first of three and not your third of three. And I'm gonna go in with this champagne truffle over here. And I'm gonna do that right in the inner corner of my eye. And it's just gonna open up your eyes a little bit more so that you look extra awake. We're almost there, girl. You ain't gonna be late today. So for lips, you got to add the color because you don't wanna look dead. You don't wanna look sick. You wanna look awake and alive because if somebody's laying in that hospital bed, they don't want their nurse to look like they sick too. And you want it to last. You want it to last through your morning coffee, your mid-morning coffee, your lunch coffee, your after lunch coffee, and then your um, nighttime glass of wine. <laughs> We're gonna go in with Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. But I thought this was totally appropriate considering my job as a mom baby nurse. I'm going in with the color Mother. Now you're gonna let it dry. Now if you're really trying to impress your patients, we're going in with Lime Crime Diamond Crushers in the color Heirloom, and it's just a little bit of glitter. Babies love glitter. And throughout the day, get a lip gloss that you can put on your lips throughout the day to keep them hydrated because if your hospital's like my hospital, you leave with dry mouth, dry lips, crusty booger nose, it's super drying, and you can't drink enough water to keep yourself hydrated. So, I'm going in because, again, babies love glitter. I'm going in with Inmo Cosmetics Galaxy Glass. Girl, he's <laughs> now for this hair. Because we greasy, we ain't washing it, we ain't got time. We're going in with Batiste Dry Shampoo. And this stuff, it like just refreshes your hair. You got your pink lips for the baby girls. And then you have your scrunchie that's blue for the baby boys. So I hope you have enjoyed my get ready with me nurse edition. I literally love this profession so much. 
I mean, you'll always have a job being a nurse. All my fellow nurses out there, I appreciate you. They work holidays, they work nights, they work long hours away from their families to be with yours while they're in the hospital. So if you see a nurse, love on them a little bit and tell me you appreciate them. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with all your other nursing friends. If you get poop on you, get poop on you. Who wants the next admission? This is usually the hair case. After about 0 0.3 seconds of me checking my chart. Is it time to go home yet? Bye guys, thanks for tuning in.